Colin McCann. Irishman, born in Dublin, but has been living away for quite a while. You've lived all over the world, Colm. Yes. How does being in Listowel bear up to all of the amazing places you've been and lived? Not just playing to the crowd. I, I actually, I really love Listowel. It's great. I mean, you walk along and everyone's so friendly. And all the books in the shops and, and, and things like that. It feels like one of those, the, 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 those great towns. It's, it's great crack as well. And I know good people are around. And yeah. the fact that everyone's really interested in the literary experience is, um, is fantastic, you know. Yeah. I've never written about uh, an, an area down here, but um, I'd, I'd, I'd like to at some stage. Yeah, and it's your return, it's your return after a long time to uh, writing about Ireland, isn't it? In yes. your new book. Yes, you know, for, for a long time I wrote about New York and I wrote about um, uh, many other subjects I wrote about uh, Rudolf Nureyev, the, 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 the dancer, and I wrote about um, the Romani people in Europe and so on. So for me, uh, with this book, I sort of coming back home again, sort of literally and figuratively, because some of it's about transatlantic journeys yeah. um, between, um, between here and Canada and between here and uh, Boston, Missouri and places like that, based on three historical figures um, primarily. One yeah. is Frederick Douglass. One is George Mitchell, the great Senator George Mitchell, <laughs> just fantastic man, still alive in New York, Indeed. brought our peace process to us. And the other ones were Alcock and Brown, the, the, the pioneering flight uh, uh, guys who came from Newfoundland and landed uh, in Clifton in yeah. 1919. It's fabulous. So right? it's a big, crazy tapestry. Yeah, and I, uh, to be honest, I, I will honestly say I haven't read it yet. I haven't read it yet either, you're right. <laughs> and obviously I can't read it yet, <laughs> but I can't wait to. I oh, know. Um, I hope the, you enjoy it. I, I'm sure I will. I've, re I've enjoyed all the rest of your books. Mm, thank you. Um, you're here, literally, uh, you're, you're not here very long, but you've no. got two mad events mm. just after finishing your fiction event, and you've got another event on in like a half an hour yeah. <laughs> across the waves, and that's kind of about, it's the gathering, isn't it? And it's all about yes. coming home again and everything as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be interesting. We'll see. Well, hopefully the, the, the sparks will fly um, again this evening. I mean, it's such an important crucial debate in the whole in the whole Irish experience yeah. to be able to talk about you know uh, what it means to migrate what it means to emigrate what it means to come back home you know I, th I find it really poignant that uh, you know some of the busiest places uh, there are, are the airports now and the short-term parking lots where people abandon their cars mm -hmm. and go away again I remember I left in 1986 I didn't really emigrate I just left for for fun and curiosity um, and I wrote a short story way back then called Fishing the Slow Black River. And it was about mother, it's a magic realist story about mothers fishing for their sons. Mm. It's sort of an, just an image for, for emigration. But um, the thing about it was for many years then I thought it just became corny, I thought it became twee and irrelevant. Yeah. But, but, but for some, whatever reason, um, literature sort of doesn't, owe, it's, it's sort of news that stays news. Um, and uh, unfortunately, it's come back around again. The, I, I mean, at least the the theme of the story yeah, has no, come back around again. Unfortunately, it has. I know it's hard to see closed shops and things like that. But yeah, really Listowel is vibrant. No, it's it, it always seems to keep going. Thank God. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, as well, just uh, I have a random question there just to put to you. If you had to sit down with one writer, past or present, for a cup of coffee. Who do you think you'd pick and why? Could you've, probably, you've, probably, you've probably already you've sat down with all of your, your heroes. Well, see, that's whatever. the funny thing. I've, I have sat down with many of my, 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 my heroes. That's the nice thing about festivals, in fact. Yeah. It gathers all these, all these writers together. Also, then you get to meet new people who you didn't necessarily uh, know before. Um, but, it, I mean, does it have to be a cup of tea? No, it doesn't have to be a cup of tea. It could be a pint. <laughs> okay, pint. Um, <laughs> You know, I, I, quite honestly, um, I, I'd probably be overwhelmed and, and speechless and just sit there. But I'd love to have an hour with someone like Joyce, just yeah. to see, just to see. Or maybe Nora might be more interesting, <laughs> you know, Nora Barnacle. I get the real dirt on him, you know. Actually, that, actually, no, yeah, let me change my answer. Yeah, I'd prefer Nora Barnacle. But, um, <laughs> And, and, and get the real truth. Because the writers, yeah, the writers always skirt around it. The, yeah, the partners or the wives are the... Would the, you say the that's true for yourself? Oh, I say so, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to know the truth, ask my wife. To ask her what this, this last novel felt like. Really? She's like, oh, God. Um, she'd just say... <laughs> no, so...
you know, she loves the novel. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that, but 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 um, she had to live through the three or four years of of, of writing it, and and, and that takes a lot. Of, yeah, it takes a lot of support, and um, you know, I feel um, it's like. Uh, having a baby afterwards, you forget all about the, you know how how the the, yeah. the, the misspellings and the bad things that happened and the t the pages that you tore up and all that sort of I stuff. I suppose it's one thing we we always ask how what your method is and everything like that, but we never ask the behind the scenes mm. how, how, what the support is like from the people behind you. You do need you support, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, do they have to? Uh, they obviously have to go through a lot with you. Uh, as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to over overvalue it because I think it's <laughs> dangerous to sort of say, oh yeah, you know, like it's tough. It's because it's much tougher to, to to be so many other things. It's tough to be a carpenter mm. and it's tough to be a policeman and it's tough to be, you know, a waiter and, and so. Um, so I wouldn't overvalue the difficulty of writing, but you do need a support system behind yeah. you. And sometimes my kids do think I'm mad when I wander around the house, like yeah. reading, reading things aloud and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. and, and especially if I have a few choice words to say, shall we say. <laughs> yeah. And I always hear, Dad, I heard you. Um, but um, yeah, um, even in that respect, they have to, they, 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 you know, your, your whole family system comes into play. Yeah. Thanks a million, Colm. I won't keep you thank any you, longer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Get, get, get out, out and, 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 and yeah, out, out into the streets of the stall. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks a million. Cheers.